They say my speakers slap harder than Obama's. Listen to this. Your iPad is connected to these? Yeah, listen. Pretty cool, huh? So cool. I know. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Right. Thank you. Thank you. You part two times. You guys you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, doke party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so we have an interesting case that might just influence the election. As you guys all know, there's a nursing student out of Athens, Georgia, go dogs, who was viciously murdered by an illegal alien that was hired by the cafeteria of the school. Immigration and Customs Enforcement confirms to Fox News that the NYPD arrested 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra in September and charged him with acting in a manner to injure a child less than 17 and a motor vehicle license violation. One year earlier, Ibarra, a Venezuelan national, had illegally entered the U.S. near El Paso. Last week, police arrested him for the murder of Lake and Riley, a 22-year-old nursing student at Augusta University. She was found dead near a lake on the campus of the University of Georgia, where she had previously attended. Yep, this Venezuelan puta here was fascinated, was fixated with this young lady and... This monster goes out and ends her life. For what? Right? So, this could be the one that takes Trump over. If you don't remember, 2012, we have um, Trayvon Martin push Obama to get reelected. 2016, we had... Uh, the young lady that was from San Francisco that was walking with her dad, Kate Stein. Kate Stein was murdered with a stray bullet that an illegal alien. So Trump got elected on that. Uh, then we had George Floyd, 2020, whatever. So this one here, Lincoln Riley, I believe is going to push Trump over the edge. Because we had enough with this illegal alien. An illegal Venezuelan thug came in here, was deported, came back here, got a job through the university, and he just deletes somebody just for the hell of it. Friends, Jill and I know the deep hole in your hearts when you bury a piece of your soul deep in this earth. As I've said to you privately, we know, we know you will never feel the same again. For most people, the numbness you feel now will slowly turn day after day, season after season into purpose through the memory of the one they lost. But for you, that day has come before you can fully grieve. And unlike most, you must grieve in public. And it's a burden. A burden that is now your purpose to change the world for the better, in the name of George Floyd. Like so many others, I've watched with awe as you summon the absolute courage to channel God's grace and show the good man George was. Now, we have Mr. Biden. Mr. Biden has given George Floyd 27 shout outs. What? Well, not Biden himself, but the Biden administration gave George Floyd 27 shout outs, tweets, news press, all this. All right. Now, 
Lincoln Riley, zero. I know because I looked it up. Zero. Joe Biden couldn't even bring himself to say the Georgia student's name. I've been planning to go Thursday. What I didn't know is uh, my good friend apparently is gone. The president still hasn't mentioned the dead Georgia co-ed, aside from a weak statement Binder released about people should be held accountable. Now let's take a listen to Tom Holman, the ICE director under Trump and under Biden. Let's go. I, you know, I started in Border Patrol in 1984. And look, I worked for six presidents, starting with Ronald Reagan. And every president I ever worked for, even Clinton Obama, took some steps to secure the border because they understood you, you can't possibly have national security if you don't have border security. No one did more than President Trump. Well, President Trump did was unprecedented. And the reason I wake up pissed off every day is because this administration, Joe Biden's the first president in the history of this nation who came in office and unsecured a border on purpose. And people want to say that past administration, the Trump administration, you know, Trump, Holman, you're all, you know, again, racist, you, you know, your, 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 your policies are inhumane. Well, let me tell you something. President Trump had illegal immigration down to the 45-year low. Illegal immigration was down 83 to 90 percent. Doctors of all borders did a study. They, they, they estimated that 31 percent of women they talked to were sexually assaulted making that journey. That's who admitted 31 cent, 31 percent. So when President Trump had 90 percent less people coming, how many women weren't being raped? How many, how many, how many aliens didn't die crossing the border? How many children didn't drown in the river? How many women and children weren't sex trafficked in the United States? How many pounds of fentanyl didn't make it into the United States because the border was secure? How many known suspected terrorists didn't cross the border because the border was secure? President Trump's policy saved lives. The president of Venezuela has suspended flights from America. The criminals that he sent over to America, he don't want to deal with them. And he's not taking them back. So America trying to put them on planes and bring them back. He is denying those flights. Hilarious. All these countries are sending their worst, their, 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 their thieves to our country. It is the same thing Trump was saying in 2016. And y'all laughed at him. Y'all call him xenophobe. Y'all call him a racist. And these are the best and the finest. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. But this is exactly what they're doing. They said they opened up their prisons and sending them to our country, and we got to deal with it. And look what happened to Athens. I hope we keep Lincoln Riley on our minds to till till November. You know, we got to remember what happened to her because it could happen to you. It could happen to your grandchild. It could happen to your child. An illegal alien who just want to murder you as you go jogging, minding your business, trying to stay in health, and here comes this knucklehead deleting you. Let's go. It. Let me start by saying or pick up by saying Joe Biden failed the American people utterly over the last three years in failing to defend the southern border. He allowed chaos on the southern border. He allowed the, the total breakdown of, uh, of our immigration and naturalization system uh, to the chagrin and the dismay of those who get in line legally. Uh, and, and cannot now, because of the jam of the, the undocumented, the, the immigrants flooding across, this is anarchy on the border. And the drone footage that we're seeing right now on the screen it, it shows that to be absolutely, unequivocally, undeniably true. We have to do something. Trump was previously scheduled to go to the border. Uh, Joe Biden's uh, aides and uh, staff no doubt said, uh, Mr. President, you've got to get your ass down there. Where? I, I have to be careful with my language. Uh, you have to get yourself down there. You've got to show the American people uh, that you are, uh, you know, uh, cognizant of their concerns. Is There's no accident that immigration is number one on these issues uh, lists because it, the 
when you have millions of people flooding across, you have no idea who they are. That's absolutely right. You have no control over where they are, what they're going to do when they get here. It is a, it is not a system. It is chaos. It is anarchy. We have to do something. It will cost Joe Biden the election. I guarantee it will be the most important issue. And uh, and uh, you know, woe onto the Democrats. They fiddled when Rome burned. Anyway, that's the thought for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, see that notification bell, turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right, till next time guys, I'll see you again. And all you vatos, get off my lawn.